Okay, question six from the specimen paper. And the first thing you should spot, you've got one of these stars, which means that not only you might have to write something, more importantly than that, you've got to be very clear about what you write and you have to explain yourself as you're going along. And that's new one on these GCSE exams. So they're going to be looking to the way you explain your working out and explain your or reasoning and understanding. So we've got 10 boys and 10 girls and they're given 20, 20 mental arithmetic questions and the scores uh, for the boys is here. And we've got the girls, we don't have the girls' scores, but we have the range of the girl, uh, girls and we've got the mean. Remember that mean means the average and the range means it's the spread. So it's the biggest number minus the smallest number. It tells us how far apart our information is, how spread out it is. Okay, there's the hypothesis here. So it's a question or, or an idea. It says boys are better at mental arithmetic than girls. And we need to investigate this. So, well, if we've got the mean of the girls and the range of the girls, let's do the same thing for the boys. Okay, so if we add up the total scores for the boys, total boys scores, well, we're just going to add up all of these numbers and just tap this into our calculator, and it comes out as 140. So to calculate the boys' mean, then you can say that you have to do 140 divided by the 10 different boys that were, find out the average, and you find out that there was an average score of 14 questions correct. Now, the way the marks break down is if you've worked out the mean, that's actually two of these five marks. So it's very simple. Even if you're not sure what you're doing, it's worth having a go at just doing the same thing that the girls have done, uh, and you can earn yourself marks. And if we look at the range of the boys, so we worked out the mean, if we look at the range, uh, for the boys. Well, that's equal the biggest score, take away the smallest score. Well, someone scored 20, that was the biggest score, and the lowest score, well, there was two of them, it was 9, or it could have been this 9 here. So I've got to do 20, take away 9, which is 11, which means that's how spread out the information was. So from the lowest to the highest score for the boys, there was a gap of 11 from here, from here to here. For the girls, it was 12. Okay, so the way the marks break down is if you worked out the range, that's another mark. So we've only got three out of the five, which is um, which is not bad. Then we need to make two statements. We need to compare the means and compare the range and what that means or what that what we understand from that. Okay, so if we compare the averages, fourteen point five versus fourteen, uh, we can say the girls are better at mental arithmetic because they get a slightly higher score and I'm going to use this phrase on average which means I've compared the averages so the boys average was 14 the girls were 14.5 so the girls are better or even you could say slightly better at mathematic on average that would be we've compared the averages that's a fourth mark so for the fifth mark, we need to compare the ranges. Um, we could say something like, however, the girls, the girls' results are more spread out, are more varied as their range is bigger. So we could look at their range. Their range was 12 compared to the boys range of 12 which was a uh, boys range of 11. 12 is bigger which means that there was a bigger gap. There was only an 11 gap between the boys best and worst results. Well there was a 12 gap so it means the girls had a bigger bigger change. So they might have done better slightly overall but they had, their results, some of them were bigger but some of them were smaller and there was a bigger gap between that big and small. And that gets you the fifth mark. Now this is a really uh, uh, tricky question. So you can get three of the five marks by finding out the mean and the range, which is fine. But then you've got to say that 
Well, in this case, the girls did better because their average was better. However, their range being better was, was actually worse off. It means that their results were more spread out and more varied. So um, you had to say something about that. So it might be worth replaying this and having a think about it and uh, going back over it. Okay.